Hi and welcome to this short animation of the role bees play in the life cycle of plants. This is known as pollination. Here we have a seed. A seed grows with the help of water and light. Plants turn the UV rays from the sun into food. This is called photosynthesis and it is how they get their lovely green colour. Plants also require water to grow. The presence of light and water enable the plant to grow and send down roots into the ground so that it can get nutrients from the soil. The seedling grows leaves and may even develop flower buds. Eventually, the bud splits open to reveal a flower. Now, we're going to have a look at the different parts that make up a flower. We have a stem and leaves, the receptacle, these are the sepals. Sepals are the remaining part of the bud after it splits open. Here are the petals. These can vary in number and look very different from species to species. This is the carpal, also known as the pistil. That big bulge at the bottom is the ovary, the tall skinny bit is the style, and the little bit on the top is the stigma. Inside the ovary is the locule, and this contains the ovule, or eggs. All this makes up the female part of the flower. The male part of the flower is called the stamen. The long skinny part is the filament and the little bit on top is called the anther. And this is where we find pollen. Zzzz. What's that? Oh, here comes a honeybee. Honeybees gather pollen and nectar from flowers. See how the pollen sticks to her legs? As she moves around the flower, she moves the pollen. And eventually, some pollen falls on the stigma. Oh, bye little honeybee. Once on the stigma, the pollen finds its way down the style and into the ovary. There, it fertilises the ovule. Once fertilised, the ovule can become seeds. Eventually, the flower wilts and dies. The seeds fall back down to the earth so that the whole process may begin again. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have learnt something about flowers and pollination. See you all later.